Recorded live at Podfest Berlin, supported by Wonder Tax. Tax returns made easy. Hey, it's Karen here at the beginning of the episode with the DTS voice. This is a live show with the slides, so you know what that means. It's on YouTube. <laughs> I think we're recording now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Corner Spady at Podfest again. Uh, everyone, please, for the love of God, make some fucking noise. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. 1,000 people. Uh, <laughs> You're going to put some laugh tracks in. <laughs> Yeah, they really liked how we came up from the stage, like with the fog. And oh the yeah, smoke. yeah, yeah, absolutely. They they went crazy for that. That's on the DVD release. Um, <laughs> DVD. <laughs> wow. I don't know anyone who ever had a Blu-ray player. Me neither. Yeah, no. It seemed like at that point it was done. I think my mom had a Blu-ray player. Oh, it seems yeah. like an American. Player. It is. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Absolutely. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. And then you realize that like owning a PlayStation just functions as yeah. PlayStation doesn't. <laughs> I use my play. <laughs> PlayStation doesn't count as a Blu-ray player. That's not why you got it. <laughs> no, it's not why I got it exactly. But it just happened to double it. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So something oh, I forgot where my beer is. All right. Something I do every live show is um, please make some noise if you've listened to the podcast before. <laughs> please make some noise if you haven't. <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna oh, come. Nice. Stop it. You you edit. <laughs> you listen yeah, to every no, episode. No, you just have <laughs> your just, stuff yeah, on. Yeah, I just listen to every episode. Like la 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 la. <laughs> la, la. <laughs> I'm not listening to you, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. All right, yeah. So that's good. That's fun. We're doing we're doing a live show. We've got we've got all the 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 bells and whistles. I do have to open with a slight story that happened to me today, which is I think like the ideal German experience which is I was in Reva with my toddler and before before the casa is all the expensive alcohols and she decided to like run alongside it with her arm out trailing her fingers across all the bottles causing everyone to freak the fuck out expecting her to break like a 40 euro bottle of whiskey or something she didn't and I had to like say like come over here come over here now kind of thing <laughs> so the guy behind me in the queue realizes I speak English and wants to talk to me about that. But in, not in the, like, I hate you German way, but in the, like, I love you way. Because he wanted to talk about two things, most importantly, which is, one, Phil Collins' Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Or Can You Feel it in the Air Tonight? He loves that song. He wanted to talk about that. And second, he also wanted to talk about the dream he had last night where he was Martin Luther King. <gasps> <laughs> what? Oh no! As an American, I have that dream at least. <laughs> <laughs> so every know, night. I, know that feeling. I just don't go around telling everyone. <laughs> oh no! Damn! <laughs> what a king! We're gonna talk about really bad Germans in a second, so I just wanted to open with the the wonderful, wonderful German example. So, all right. First things first, we have to do uh, some news. <laughs> Um, which is the only thing really worth talking about that we haven't talked about on the podcast already, happening pretty much this weekend, we will do an episode on it, is the uh, Polish elections. Um, I found out these robots are becoming more common in like supermarkets in Warsaw and now have like political posters on them. Oh, damn. Um, so you can, rent a, can you rent a robot? I'm assuming, yeah. Like <laughs> I'm why? hoping like Confederacja doesn't have like a legion An of robots. An army of robots. <laughs> yeah. what's, their, what's their function though? Why do they exist? Oh, we'll to get to that. Annoying. <laughs> More or less. So because there is one, uh, um, there is one Polish robot that has become like a meme that everyone absolutely loves. And that is Carafus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, I no, do love Carefus. This is the thing, though, is that I feel that Poland, in true, like, no, Pol anyone who's, uh, you know, of course, you know, I'm not going to use the official CEE -E, uh, 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 terminology, Central yeah. Eastern European country. No, no, this is pure Eastern European vibes. So they just, yeah. like, got way too stoked about capitalism. <laughs> and they're 
like, oh, obviously, you know, we need to combine the best of both worlds. Yes, we mean Japan with QC <laughs> little cat robot things and the U.S. with Pepsi just everywhere. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, but it's beautiful. carrying Pepsi. It's carrying well. yeah. Pepsi. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, it's this a is Pepsi. For- it's a, Pepsi. Pepsi. it's a Pepsi robot. Yeah, yeah so it's disgusting. Kero, <laughs> Kero Fush. Yeah, how could you call this disgusting? Kerofush talks in a cutesy little voice, obviously no. in Polish. Oh, uh, he makes different little expressions, uh, 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 little angry and sad faces. He waterboards you with the Pepsi challenge. <laughs> That yeah, it takes you to a CIA black site <laughs> in Poland, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he just goes around Carrefour, the French supermarket chain that is also in Poland, and like offers shoppers like, hey, I know you're like getting your, your weekly shop, but how about a fucking Pepsi? Let's go. Do I have go. to pay Carrefour? No, you have to pay no, the no, checkout you, person yeah. at the oh, end. Yeah, it's not yeah. free Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's rice. I Capitalism. Thought, <laughs> oh, I thought it was a little refreshment. Yeah, no. During, I my, <laughs> during your weekly show. I am. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> Thank you, cat robot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the, uh, the, the, the revolutionary stance that Kerfa sucks. <sighs> but look at him. <laughs> I, I see it. I know, but I got to look past You just want to be it, different. It, <laughs> no. it I'm not like other boys. It takes I don't a lot like for me to look past something that is cat-shaped. I didn't say I don't like it. So, like, the head of, like, the or- like the Marxist organizing group Socialist Action does actually have a photo of uh, of her with Kara Fush. Well, <laughs> well, what do you have to say yeah. now, Nick? You know, yeah, that is, that is, that is some uh, revisionist bullshit if I've ever <laughs> seen it. So, okay, Kara Fush is definitely the good option when compared to, like, the Roomba with the poster on it for the party that wants to bring back <laughs> capital punishment. Yeah, I want to like, tip that over so bad. Yeah, yeah. That's a confederatia who are... Confederatia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Y- Yulia's giving me the nod. She knows Polish more than I do. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, they, 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 they want to uh, get rid of all migrants, gay people, no abortions, bring back capital punishment... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Basically, to the right of <laughs> the like piss party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're a young startup like Vice that got <laughs> bought by Saudi Arabia. More or less, <laughs> like not too far off. But anyway, we will do an episode about the Polish elections after they've actually happened. Um, and I can like, as you can see, that wasn't actually a discussion of the Polish elections. It was a discussion of a cat robot that <laughs> the I love. Um, but we are doing something that we usually do at the live shows. Uh, which is Megrika. For oh, anyone, I'm not prepared. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I for did anyone, not know this was happening. <laughs> for anyone who doesn't know, Megarika is the competition where I have looked up all the best boys of Europe, which is to say the richest person in every European country. Um, they are all boys. I'm sorry. I'm not sexist. I'm just an observer of history. Um, <laughs> the and I'm going to tell the gang over here their net worth why they're rich, and three pieces of information about them. And they have to guess either who they are or where they're from. Do we have the map? We have the map. The map will be shown in a minute. Don't worry. All right. It's just too many countries in Europe. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Net worth, one billion. Flat out one billion. Flat one billion. Damn. Yeah. Impressive. Um, made Made his money by an airline, shipping, cement... Being a landlord and having a rich dad. The enemy. Spain. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get your turn. <laughs> and also the audience will get to guess as well. So it's you versus the audience. <laughs> okay. So when his dad was 17, he left school and worked as a salesman. At age 23, he got a job at his uncle's import-export business in Saudi Arabia. Oh. From Rex to Rich. <laughs> working at your uncle's. Saudi yeah, just a working class company. Joe in fucking <laughs> sa- in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Um, where he was uh, the only one able to bring in cement into the country during the time. Wait, into his home country or into Saudi Arabia? Into Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. Yeah. Impressive. But he's not from Saudi Arabia. No. Okay. Well, then he wouldn't be the Mega Rica for Europe. He later moved to London and bought a 10.5 thousand ton ship to start his shipping business. Just out of pocket. Yeah, <clears throat> me, me too. <laughs> he started an airline, piece of information number two. He started an airline with his brother and then got into the family business by starting a shipping company. 
uh, that is played with the usual stuff all shipping companies are played with, which is uh, slavery and murder allegations. There are no laws in international waters. Um, Jesus the- fuck. <laughs> we did a whole episode on the shipping industry. Hamburg is a dark and evil place. <laughs> Um, the airline he co-owns with his brother is notorious for union busting and pulling out of markets that attempt to strike. Oh. I think I know who this is. Hell yeah. All right. Answers at the end. (laughs) (laughs) Um, he, like, piece of information number three, he currently owns tens of thousands of flats in London and lives in Monaco. Of course. (laughs) All right. And, and here is the map. The blue countries are already taken. The grey ones are up for grabs. Ireland. Okay, you think Ireland? Yeah. Julia? I thought that too. I think, yeah, I think you're going to have an Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. <laughs> All right, audience. The Ryanair <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That sounds the, like... The union bus. The yeah, union yeah. Bus. yeah. yeah. <laughs> they literally have on their website, like, help us. Oh, yeah, open yeah. the European <laughs> sky. Sign our petition. Do not the sign that petition. Bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and the Saudi Arabia thing, too, is real Irish lore. What? Um, since when? Yeah. No, Forever. since I've told him all the stories of my various relations to Saudi Arabia, oh, he yeah. thinks he thinks all Irish people have a Saudi Arabia connection. And Do not you that have I'm, Saudi Arabia no. connection? I'm not willing to talk about it on the podcast, <laughs> but yes. You can talk to me after the show. It's hilarious. Um, all right, audience, what are we... Audience guesses? Shout them out. Greece. Oh, Greece, Ooh. okay. Oh my god, Ryanair has really done a disservice to our fucking public image, hasn't it? All right, so it's not Ireland. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Greece is a good guess, but no, unfortunately wait, not. I feel wait, one wait, billion for a green, uh, let me see, a green let oligarch me see. is not enough. Let me mm. take a look here. Russia? We got a Hungary from the audience. Russia? Russia? Hungary has an island. <laughs> 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 Hungary has an, uh, 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 an uh, island. <laughs> no, a, uh, an, an airline company. Uh, wasn't it like... Uh, Wow Air or Wiz? Wiz, Wiz yeah. yeah. I'm say Vix, but that's something no. different. But is that Wow Finnish? I thought Wow was Wow's, uh, Wow is Icelandic. Oh, yeah, that's it. What's that, you know? You got Hungary? Or no, we got Hungary from the audience. Yeah. Yeah, what do we I got? I said Russia. Just you got Russia. Nick, yeah. Yulia, what you got? Uh, if no one gets it at this point, I'm going, I'm going to call it. Yeah, I, yeah, fair. I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say, say Hungary as well, because why not? Why not? Why the fuck not? Any other audience answers before, while Yulia's thinking? <laughs> Romania? Okay. Cement. Oh, wait, Romania ended up back on the thing because he died, right? No, he got... <laughs> um, we, for people who don't know, we did Romania before when the richest person in Romania was this uh, former tennis player who um, would take German businessmen to just, like, gun down wild boar in the Romanian forest. Uh, and he also claims that he ate a, a champagne glass whole once. Um, no, someone got richer than him. He's still alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you know, grind. I'm just going to be l- random and say Latvia. <laughs> just because. I was thinking Latvia too for whatever reason. But <laughs> All yeah. right. That's okay. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No one has gotten it. Oh, oh shit. Well, who yeah. is oh it? my God. Wait. Uh, what? Polly's Haji I and now or I Nick, you can probably that. do this better than me because yeah, he is no. Cypriot. Cyprus. Oh, oh my god! I, I should have fucking guessed. You love Cyprus. Oh wait, you said Greece is good. Why do I say Latvia? Yeah, You're exactly. Latvia, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the Greece of the North. <laughs> Everyone says that. Um, yeah, yeah. This is the co-owner and number one shareholder in his brother's airline, EasyJet. Oh, yeah. we were so close. EasyJet is Cypriot. You thought it was from Greece? Ah, uh, so the it. audience wins. We've got a pro yeah. gnosis candidate in the house tonight who believes that Cyprus <laughs> should also belong to Greece. <laughs> we'll talk after the show. <laughs> but this picture is old as hell, no? <laughs> that's a fun no, thing. that's just the projector. That's how I imagine a Cypriot billionaire looking. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. But less eighties glasses. Yeah, it really looks. You know 80s. he has a gold chain. Too. All right, so I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, tell you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. The guy who owns Ryanair buttons that top button. All right, oh, that's the that's nerd. the difference. Absolute nerd. He's and a terrible Irish. person. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and looks very Irish. Yes. Shit, man. Okay. Damn it. All right, and that leads us. <laughs> To our main topic tonight, I do have to get out the notes for this because we are actually a smart podcast. Don't <laughs> listen to the haters. Um, <laughs> I mean, listen to them. That's that's cool. I yeah. like being thought of as stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Free advertising. All right. So our main topic tonight is, of course, 
Oh my god. What? The Empire Burger. I knew it was a thing. I, I knew it was a thing. I knew as soon as I said Empire Burger is the translation, I knew it was a thing. No, unfortunately, it's the Reichsburgers. <laughs> 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 but come on, oh, but come on, like wait, where does Empire Burger America? I guess. Oh no, Canada actually. Oh, which well, empire are they talking? <laughs> <laughs> Just the Empire of Burger. Look at that Burger <laughs> Empire. Why would you? Okay, listen. Yeah, that annoys me. <laughs> like, why would you want to eat? How I want to eat, oh, eat oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Why wouldn't you? I no, want to eat that. That's so uncomfortable to eat. <laughs> yeah, no? because you have to. But that's a later it. problem. You, have to <laughs> eat it. you eat it, and then you get your picture on the wall. But you have to just mental <laughs> it. Oh, before it's one you of those things. Yeah. So this is basically several burgers because you can't fit and that in salad. your mouth. I mean, I can't fit no. that. <laughs> <laughs> that is just some iceberg lettuce thrown on a plate. Yeah, it's healthy. Do you have to eat the salad too? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. to win thing, I mean yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the last time I did an eating challenge the trick was I just brought the plate to my mouth opened and as soon as he said go I just started pushing things oh in. you're disgusting <laughs> I won 50 euro <laughs> did you get your you, we- you won yeah yeah well, of course what I won. was it Do what you were you eating alright so this was an <laughs> Right. Sorry, we're getting so sidetracked. It was 50 euro and a ticket to like the big uh, uh, party that my college was going to have that year. So like a free ticket. Uh, <laughs> I did. I gave the ticket to the person who came second place because it was like, you wanted the ticket more. I wanted the 50 euro. Um, <laughs> I'm poor. You're such a, you're such a great winner. I'm I am. Yeah. I just don't go clubbing, <laughs> Julia. That's why you didn't get a shot. That's why you didn't get the shot class. Um, <laughs> all right. So yeah, it was a slice of shepherd's pie portion of chips. Why was I going to say that? I was going to say, I bet it was a pie. Because this was pie. a can- college canteen in Ireland. Of course it was shepherd's pie. You can make that en masse. Um, shepherd's pie, portion of chips, uh, boiled carrots and broccoli, and then like afterwards we this had... the most boring eating competition <laughs> I've ever heard of. Oh, when there's come a time on. limit, baby. Yeah, but like, come <laughs> on. Shoveling down 70 hot dogs. That's that's sick. That's, that's American, cool. That's yeah. American. That's, that's Until a, that one I Japanese guy started though. trashing all of that's you. That's a feat of athleticism. Yeah. This is just lazy. No, but okay, but <laughs> imagine eating Shepard's fine just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a video on Facebook. <gasps> Okay, we oh, need to see that. Yeah. Yeah, I you know, have no idea how to find it again. Um, yeah, there's no Kobayashi of eating, uh, of eating, <laughs> eating shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie. Kobayashi's probably the Kobayashi of eating shepherd's pie. <laughs> the man can do anything. Anyway, apart from that lovely uh, uh, sidetrack, we do actually have to talk about the Reichsburgers now. Um, so we've done episodes of the Reichsburgers before because, of course. Um, but we thought we would do an all-in-one episode, especially when we're doing slides for the live show because there's a lot of fun things to show you. Um, also, it's very, very up, up to date. Like oh, yeah, there's some new stuff that we haven't yeah, covered. There have been raids. Lately. There have been yeah, raids, yeah. absolutely. Um, all right, so thing we should say as a disclaimer... Um, we're going to talk about like the fun side of the Reichsburgers, but we do have to put that big old, big old fun asterisk on it of they've attacked synagogues before and stuff, and they have zero chill. They're not like they're fun to kind of look at from a distance, but not to have like a conversation with or be around. So we're acknowledging that and then moving on because I want to get on with the rest of my day <laughs> and not think about horrible things. Um, other fun fact we should mention, according to the Verfassungsschutz, there is about 21,000 Reichsburgers in the country. <laughs> so, what do they believe? First things first, Germany is fake, and it, it's a company. You will constantly hear the term Deutschland GmbH. Yeah. Yeah. BRD <laughs> GmbH. Um, this was the only not really fucked image I could find that illustrated this concept. <laughs> oh, you didn't make this? No, I found uh, somebody it. Somebody put this. No, Kira would not do this. This is horrible graphic design is my passion. Sort of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is this from an article asking, is Germany a company? <laughs> yeah, 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 from like... T is actually medicine.com or <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so this is a thing. The post war German state is fake. It's, a, it's like, it's all bullshit. It's just a company. Everything that happens in Bundestag, everything that you hear about in Tagesschau is like theater. Uh, it's like watching an episode of Friends, 
but like instead of Ross, it's like Olaf Schultz or whatever. Um, <laughs> which, when I say it out has, loud, does he have Ross vibes? Yeah. <laughs> But it, it's interesting because they bring that argument because it's called personal ausweis. It means staff ID, basically. Personal mm. is also the same word we use for staff. So that's yeah. why they're saying, oh, it's called personal ausweis. So oh my that's they're so staff. smart. Yeah, they're I know. So right? smart. Oh yeah. my this, is, this is the German <laughs> They make <equi> connections. <laughs> yeah, for like, anyone who doesn't. Personal staff? <laughs> Uh, for anyone who doesn't remember that 9-11 conspiracy that if you like folded the one dollar note in a certain way you would see the picture of 9-11 happening which meant it was planned um, this is kind of <laughs> the German long, equipment long oh, wait, oh, absolutely yeah. hold up hold yeah. up hold up as the, <laughs> as the American in the podcast now, so the thing about the like Reichsburgers I mean uh, their bizarre take on Germany being a <laughs> privately held company is that they do this thing that's kind of like always this in Germany would be like the rote Faden of their yeah. like argumentation is that oh, the through like, line. Yeah. 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 The through line is that there's like always a little bit of truth in it. Not that, that they're a company, <laughs> of course not, <laughs> no. but in the sense of that, then one of the things that the Reichsburgers do believe is that then Germany in reunification is not legitimate. And weirdly, they are actually correct because. Because <laughs> Mike. Because when Germany reunified, and this is like a big problem that happens within things like the toy hand and whatnot, is that and why a lot of people in the East feel it was like a complete, um, you know, like takeover from the West, is because there is a clause saying that the, that the Constitution had to be renegotiated mm, yeah, when uh, there is yeah, yeah, reunification. Yeah. And because it didn't, actually, weirdly, by a, because Germany is a weirdly like legal positivist state in a lot of ways, yeah. if you look at it through this lens, it's not wrong. Yeah. It's also not right. Yeah, yeah. this is this is why they they've been growing quite well in Eastern Europe. And like yeah. the other kind of like kernel of truth of like we are a puppet state was. And for the West was kind of like how rough shot like the Americans kind of operated in the West of just like, oh, of course it's a puppet company. Have you been to like Ramstein Air Base, like where oh, yeah, every yeah. cadet drunk drives and like sexually assaults the locals and yeah, things like they, that? They bring the argument that it's still basically occupied. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. So they have like this kind of thing of like saying, oh, and it's then a company, they, but also it's still occupied by, by and then the they, allied forces. Yeah, and then yeah. they take those very kind of real and interesting questions about the state of Germany and take it to the most <laughs> insane conclusion. <laughs> Illusions possible. Yes. And yeah. also in a very wink wink way, which I will illustrate as thus. All right. So <laughs> over here are the borders of 1919 Germany. This is what Reichsburgers want. Okay. They want this. This is the Second Reich. It's fine. These are the borders of the beginning of Nazi Germany. They don't want this. It's materially different. We are not Nazis. <laughs> we want these borders, not these borders. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> don't, don't think about it too much. <laughs> they are the same. If you yeah. would. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone playing spot the difference like, at home, they are the same. No, because the difference. Listen, from this angle, it looks different. So I was yeah. like, wait. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So. And another fun thing we should mention about the Reichsburgers before we get into more of the fun games is what the fuck's going on in Baden-Württemberg? Like one out of every five Reichsburger is in uh, is in the state of Baden-Württemberg, and then also particularly in the city of Kalv. Um, <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> yeah, this is also the place where the KSK base that like buried all those um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the munitions and is like. Oh my god, there's a lot of day X conspiracy stuff that happens in Calv yeah. amongst very senior members of the military station there. We did a past episode on it. It's kind of funny because the whole thing was exposed by like a hooker they flew in for his birthday and he just and the and the prostitute, the sex worker went to like the police and described the head of the casca in this town as like Nazi grandpa, like Nazi Oma, and that's like how he's referred to in the Oma, press. Opa. 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 Opa, Opa, sorry. There's another <laughs> Oma coming later. Um, all right, so fun thing we get into, they love making their own stuff. Because not only yes. is this right wing, <laughs> it's German right wing. So it's creative. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, so, it's, it's still German. <laughs> no, there's, but there's a lot of arts and crafts. <laughs> there's a lot of arts and crafts. <laughs> well, they fucking love Boston, baby. Yeah, but they love Boston. <laughs> all right, so we are about to look at, like, the political, paramilitary kind of, like, equivalent of playing forklift simulator 2000 um so 
thing they love doing, number one, making their own money. <gasps> and it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> there is two competing Reichsburgers money. I love uh, that. Oh, there's Engel? two. Yeah. Oh, Engel. Engel. Do you want to know what Engel stands for? Well, I wish Angel? it would... I wish it would stand for Engels, but no, <laughs> no. <laughs> but actually, so it is. It is meant to be like you know angel money, but it also stands for. I need to get the German because I'm not. Yeah, I'm not too good at German. It stands for Ein neues Geld erweckt Liebe. A new money be- makes love. No, no, a new love, like, creates love. love. Yeah. Yeah. love. No, but it, wait. So it uses the word like. Uh, Erweckt. Erweckt, yeah. Erweckt, yeah. yeah. So, so like Deutschland like erweckt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a dog whistle. Yeah, whistle. It's like a dog whistle for Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's, that's what they would do. Yeah. They would put the dog yeah. whistle on the money. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, that's like that. Yeah, anything that then is like right wing and they use that word is like, yeah. all right, yeah, wink, Something wink, Something erwachen, never yeah. good, never good. Yeah, even <laughs> if it is your money waking up. Germany like. should be fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the, uh, the Neue Deutsche Mark. Uh, yeah, that, that's cool. That's I love cool. how this guy is just posing with oh, the money. We'll get to like, him. Like, oh, <laughs> can I no. order? Wait, can I or, oh, wait, I, like ordering yes. money with this would mean that I give money to the Reichsburgers. Don't want that. No, can I order, yeah, like, exactly. fake money of this, but in like big. I things, mean, you can so, like, we can you can we can we can just print our own. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I print my own and do money phones with? Like, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm I, I bet Karen this. can do this. Yeah, absolutely. I could recreate this money. Can I contact? Yeah, can I contact like the Bundesdruckerei in order to like make me counterfeit? <laughs> but it's just for a meme. It's fine. <laughs> I want to do pictures of me doing this with money. <laughs> with angry oh, with, money. With, with, yeah, with, 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 with fake Eichsberger money. All right. So the current exchange rate is one angle is about 20 cent. And we will we will get into the parts of Germany that use Why? angles. Why are they affected by inflation? That's my question. <laughs> is, this a, is this can we hedge against inflation with this fake monopoly <laughs> money? But, but why would not one angle be just one euro? Why are they <laughs> making their life complicated? Yeah, what makes them like peg their cur- like their fake currency against something that actually has like a fluctuating? Uh, um, uh, I. Look, all I can say is I really don't <laughs> think we're it, asking all these things. You I can't. really don't think. Okay, yeah, I want to talk to the uh, yeah. I want He's to the, the head, expert, the head economist of the. Of <laughs> <laughs> the nice uh, Yeah. So unfortunately, all I can really tell you is it definitely does not cost twenty cent per bill to print that. So someone is currently making bank off of this, like with actual yeah. money. But it's euro, so they're fake, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, they're fake. Because so what, so people, okay, <laughs> do you know this? Do, do I know people, this? Do people just like mail their money and then somebody just mails them back the angles? I believe so, yes. <laughs> well, are they actually angle ATMs in <laughs> Wait, I'm just imagining, do you guys remember the like Iraqi dinar uh, Trump conspiracy thing that a bunch of like right-wingers in the US got into? Yeah. No. <laughs> it was like um, a bunch of right wingers in the U.S. were buying like a shit ton of Iraqi dinar, and then they would keep like yelling at Trump on Twitter of like, "When are you gonna re- like 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 revalue the currency?" Because in some weird conspiracy theory, bizarre entity of the right that exists, they were like, "Oh yeah, Trump is secretly gonna do like a flip on the currency of Iraq." And if you invest in it now, sure. you become super wealthy. <laughs> so sure. when yeah. is the angle? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, when is when is? I'm assuming President Trump actually. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Which I like. D- I'm what so are you sad about activate the angle. I, f- I feel like we should make a crypto. <laughs> angle crypto, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right wing <laughs> economics fits perfectly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh yeah. So. All right. Other thing they love doing: making their own IDs. Oh um, my. And it's, they call Personenausweis, not Personalausweis. Like, yeah. There's a difference. Yeah. Ah, this is a because person. they're not staff. The they're other people. Thing is staff. Exactly. Yeah. This, this is, is how I. L- German shit ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I learn German. Is explaining this fucking. Is that real people? Yeah, those are. Yeah, I mean, I think the top uh, top right is like a uh, um, a stock photo they use as their example <laughs> that you can order from Reichs <laughs> Reichsdruckerei. <laughs> Yeah, genau. Uh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I just I just made me think of like in the Weihnachtsbäckerei, but And this is the form that I could have filled out and got my own ID. Damn. And how much does it cost? 
It yes. doesn't make him money. Oh, that's the thing. It's all about money. Jessica, yeah. obviously. Jessica Griff. <laughs> <laughs> there is a price list at the end. We will discuss that later. Oh, my Lord. Lord. They that, have their own. Not biome- biometrisch, though. Oh, <laughs> birth? Yeah, yeah. yeah, birth certs. Fuck off. Yeah. With that font. Which is a fun font to oh, use. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Whoops. That's uh, uh, the bad font. The bad font. Um, they have their own driver's license. Uh, so you can see here. <laughs> Mustaman. I, I love that Max Mustaman is still a. Uh, Max is Mustaman still is still the guy for uh, <laughs> <laughs> for any kind of license. Max Tokerai is Deutschenreich. Oh my wow, god! Yeah. So it looks the exact same, like not exact same, but. I love that the second thing they have is in French because. <laughs> How do they feel about <laughs> France? <laughs> well, they, they, want, they want one particular <laughs> yeah, corner back, but, you know, <laughs> the rest <laughs> of France. They want Elsass back. They, they want Elsass back. Yeah, that's... <laughs> then, um, then we also have... They make their own passports. And it's blue. And it's blue, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing smash like, or pass like, on the, uh, the smash <laughs> or pass on the pass on various rights. I am really surprised in the sense of how much effort they put into this because normally when you see shit like this, it'll be like bad. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it'll, like, yeah, it'll look terrible. Yeah, it'll look like like a McLovin ass like ID. You know, mm. like these look like. I mean, you know, <laughs> this is. I don't know if this is. This is you know, throwing shade at the design team for the like t- German IDs and passports, but these look legit. Yeah, yeah. So it's a real problem because they do try travel with them. Oh, no, no. Um, <laughs> and some countries are just like, oh yeah, don't just. All right. So weirdly. <laughs> <Yeah, you're laughs> <laughs> all right. So weirdly. <laughs> Fair enough. Heard of that. <laughs> weirdly, they, in Spain they would be like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure <laughs> <whatever>. <laughs> so weirdly, they don't get they fined for like this. The secret handshake. <laughs> yeah, in Spain they're like, hey. <laughs> Weirdly, they don't get fined for this because what you would get fined for is forgery. But to be qualified for forgery, you have to make it actually look like a Deutsches Bundesrepublik passport, which this doesn't. So it's Mm. a bad forgery, and you can't really say the intent was to make a copy of a legitimate German passport. It's a new one. Yes, but what they do get fined for, quite regularly for, is this. Mm. Because when you use this, that's technically driving without a license. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that is so not funny, because there was a kid in Hereford who was shot for that, like... Oh, oh, oh like Jesus a few months Christ. Ago. Yeah, 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 so it's really upsetting that these dudes can just do that. Do that. Yeah. 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 All right, trying to be funny again. They've made their own Kranken yeah. See, oh, yeah. this is the most German this, shit that I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> it's like, you think... Deutsche Gesundheitskasse. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like, you think Germany doesn't exist, but you're the most German person that has ever existed. Like... This is yeah true because like this Krankenkasse thing is yeah. such a BRD thing you know like yeah, it's such you a, couldn't like, have like the in the kingdom there's universal health care exactly. for like they don't have their own NHS or exactly. something and they're like no let's do the whole like <laughs> let's basically do the same shit they're doing yeah <laughs> but surely like sorry like surely if you go to the doctor <laughs> with your digging oh, no, no, they're gonna be like fuck you pay me two hundred no there's a fun fact about that yeah because <laughs> actually a lot of these uh, fake Krankenkasse insurance companies um, they don't really you, so you pay money for it but you don't really get any health benefits from it so yeah. you can go to a, a doctor but they won't uh, cover it they will only cover homeopathic yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. so that's the most German also shit also the most German <laughs> shit yeah. ever Which, yeah. I mean, yeah. here's a tea yeah. <laughs> here's some global some yeah, Ingwer fucking that's tea that's so sick that in order to like if I get this I can go to like all the heilpraktikers and just get yes. the most loopy shit like, <laughs> yeah. to, like, just get German, a massage when yeah, you have like, like German chiropractors sore throat yeah. but it, uh, it is a really interesting concept that you can become so German you technically fall out of the country yeah well, <laughs> <laughs> I really like about the like okay the thing I like about the Reichsburgers. <laughs> <laughs> they have uh, they have like really, you know, um like Mark Wahlberg energy where it's like, oh, if I was at 9-11, I would have killed the terrorists. You yeah. Know? <laughs> like it's the center. I simply would have stopped the Weimar yeah. Republic from falling. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like, well, you know, if I was just the head of Germany, like I would run it better, which is the exact same way that yeah. it's run right. Now. But with a specifically different flag. <laughs> yeah. It's like I never get like what their problem is because they just recreate everything of the worst mm-hmm. parts of Germany. Like, you know, when when I pay my TK, everything's fine. You know, yeah. it works. 
Um, not. You get like health care. I get. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> but what I like, you know, like the period of time when, like, when I went, when, like, from being a student to then working, there's like this period when I'd like pay my own insurance. Oh, they did not work. They sucked. They were horrible. And I just kept getting further and further in debt with them. Mm-hmm. So. But imagine that all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because of a very <laughs> niche political to, belief. I, to, like, I exactly. can only go to homeopathic things. I go to my doctor and they're like, what is this? And you still have to be insured because <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's Lische Krankenkasse. So that's the, <laughs> that's thing. the thing that's so funny too is that the other websites, it always says <laughs> that then like according to this article of the German law, we are allowed to do this. So they always do this weird thing on their websites where they're like, the state that we don't recognize, well, we're legally allowed to do this in the state that we don't recognize. We still respect their laws, yeah. <laughs> even exactly. though it's a sham. Yeah. Exactly. Um, DKK operated for like seven years. Uh, one of those years was after Bathin just came in and be like, no, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid and illegal. Um, because that law they cite, would it be surprised? Like, a constant thing with the Reichsburgers is um, an overconfidence in understanding the law that is un- undeserved because they're just like, according to this, we're allowed to run our own health insurance. And it's like, no, this is never, no, this is like a law to do with like. Do the Reichsburgers have like Charlie's. Um, bird law. The no, bird no, no, law. No, 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 not the bird <laughs> law. His like uncle who's like obsessed with oh, his hands. With his hands, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Is that their lawyer? <laughs> their yeah. normal size hands. <laughs> <laughs> These hands. Okay. All right. But one thing that the Reichsburgers do have regular German beat at, which is it's all online. Digitalisierung oh has happened God. for the Reichsburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and also, now we get the um, the price breakdown. So if you want your ID card, it's about 50 euro. Why is it all in English? Uh, oh, that's why Google Translate oh, okay. extension. Don't worry about <laughs> it. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what it's is not this? for X. LI forces. <laughs> oh, this isn't the real Reichsburger website. This is the CIA front Bert Reichsburger's <laughs> website. Where okay. I just keep getting like the, the customer service chat being like, hey, 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 do you want to do commit an act, act of terror that we can <laughs> stop? Hey, I think you'd be so good at that. <laughs> so DM is the angles. You, no, the angles is a very specific thing not associated with that. was a competing <laughs> currency. They do call their, like, the other Reichsburger currency is the Deutschmark. Yeah. Neue so Deutschmark. Uh, Neue Deutschmark. No, Neue, but it's still the... abbreviated as DM, yeah, not NDM. Uh, uh, which, at uh, this exchange rate, seems to be that one Deutschmark is, like, two euro. Yeah. Or one uh, two Deutschmarks is one euro. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, that's how much all of it costs. The travel pass, the the the, the passport, <laughs> is the most expensive. One hundred twenty. It's more expensive than a German passport. Yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. How much is <laughs> yes, a German of passport? <laughs> <laughs> you want to make money with this shit? <laughs> Come on. You're making money regardless. This is yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> all right, and then we get into the characters yes. of the Reichsburgers. So, first we have to talk about the Terror Oma. Um, so <laughs> Tara Oma, <laughs> my friend Uma. <laughs> All right. So uh, this is what Bild called her, and that name unfortunately stuck. Her real name, according to the whole German thing, we can't really release her name, is Elizabeth R. Um, she, the plot that she had was con- concocted in uh, Fluha Saxon. So that's that's here, um, that place. Um, and basically the plot was, if I remember correctly, we are going to kidnap Karl Lauterbach. Oh, yeah, shit, I forgot. It's the most recent shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 this is relatively recent. We're going to kidnap Karl Lauterbach, and then we're going to attack the power grid. And I think... That will cause like Germany to factory reset back into being an empire with its 1919 borders. <laughs> oh my god! That was basically the plan. They really put a so. lot of like they really think Karl Lauterbach is doing. Karl <laughs> <laughs> Lauterbach is the linchpin. <laughs> and this, his. I th- I'm pretty sure this has to do with COVID. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this all gets like queer Jenka stuff and like COVID denial oh, and yeah, yeah. anti. All- in this t- uh, all in this <laughs> 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 I just am wondering why hasn't if Lauterbach can press the button to restart everything why hasn't he done it well it's because of his um, his zero salt diet that he has is, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. is stopping him <laughs> from uh, uh, recognizing the, the, yeah. the correct Reichsburger uh, view yeah only a true just you know fully 
just chock full of salt like Spogo would be <laughs> able to confidently push that button. Yeah. And the thing I love too about this as well is that then um, in the news reports that were coming in, it just kept speaking of that then that, and I don't know if they got multiple weapons, but in the news report, it just sounded like that, sounded like that they went to Croatia and got oh, one, yeah, yeah. one gun. Yeah. yeah. One? Yeah, from Croatia. Singular one? <laughs> yes. We one. just need to kill Carl Lauterbach <laughs> <laughs> and all of this crumbles. Yeah. <laughs> and if I think, and, and, oh, that's and, and pathetic. I read multiple articles that just kept referring to like Gewehr what? in the single. Like, one Gewehr, yeah, that's all you need. In the singular. One rifle. Oh I legitimately God. think that they literally hopped to Croatia. It was like, oh, one shotgun will be yeah. enough. <laughs> that's it. That's <laughs> enough. Kidnap. One weapon, please. Remember the... Remember the I'll take one weapon. I'll please. take one weapon. Um, if anyone remembers the... Um, was it History Channel's TV show, like, greatest History's Greatest Warriors thing, where they did, yeah. like, <laughs> CGI fights between, like, the IRA and the Viet Cong? Uh, that was a real episode. You can watch it online. But, oh like... Who won? IRA. They wouldn't oh. <laughs> Viet Cong. Who won? Uma's taking back. I have, have, <laughs> I have money I'm a right now. I'm historian, okay? Who won? Viet Cong. No? Yeah. I can't remember. Well, probably probably Viet Cong. Yeah, yeah. I would remember if the Ra won. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> the Ra. The Ra. The Ra. Um, everyone has an uncle in the Ra. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Getting away from that. Uh, all right, yeah. So, yeah, but uh, like, I'd imagine, like, fifty years time, we have like history's greatest warriors who will win, like, a seventy-five-year-old one Croatian gun or Karl <laughs> Lauterbach. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, this this uh, discovery of this plot then leads to the big raid that happened last year, which then leads us to the racing Heinrich. Um, <laughs> no, no, that, wait, excuse no, me. Wait, is he wearing the same jacket in the picture and in the, yes. the other picture? Where he only has from? one outfit. Okay, <laughs> man like, have yeah. one Let jacket. Him live. It is his favorite jacket. All right, <laughs> it's a nice jacket. <laughs> so this is the one that got like international it's attention. Heinrich. The largest raid in German history was against the Reichsburgers at this point, and he was considered like the head of this whole operation. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. Um, I think my cable's a bit uh, janky. I'm, I'm holding it tight. All right, so this is this is Heinrich the Thirteenth. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh. don't don't even get me started on this. He comes from a, a the um, Habsburgs. No, no, he fucking wishes he was a Habsburg. Yeah. No, this is he's um he is uh, Prince von Royce. Yeah. Royce. Yeah, yeah, Royce. And this family has a tradition of calling every boy born into the family Heinrich uh-huh. until they get to a hundred, and then they start over. <laughs> the actual just like George Foreman. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> actual George. <laughs> the actual head of the of the family currently, who's like his cousin, is actually Heinrich the Fourteenth. But he doesn't come after him. He's just from a separate branch of Heinrichs because all the cousins are called Heinrich and stuff like this. Everyone's called Heinrich. Everyone's called Heinrich, which then results in you having a nickname, hence the racing Heinrich, because to quote, he likes fast cars and fast women. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Damn Heinrich. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this was all very weird. He had like a, a Russian girlfriend at the oh, time. Yeah. Well, he also has a wife though, and this is the oh, problem. Oh, yeah. and there's some weird shit about his girlfriend too, because she used to call herself Yola B. Yep. Um, but her, she then, when she was in police custody, said her real name is Maria Raminov or some shit like Raminov. Raminova. <laughs> oh, Raminova. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she, she used she. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, that movie's about me. <laughs> I'm friends with the bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah she used bat? to be an art uh, historian student, and um, some articles call her his assistant, other his girlfriend. I don't know. Yeah, it might yeah. be a media both. mistake. Yeah, <laughs> probably both. Bit on stereotypes. If so. you're a defunct monarch in in Germany, and not even like a major one, not even like a Hollandson or whatever, like, what do you need an assistant for? Like, Rich people just like having assistants, though. No? Yeah. I'm sorry, are you saying that Chris Jenner shouldn't have an assistant? 
<laughs> she probably has like ten yeah, assistants. But we we did this with the, the grind set. We did this with the, the Slovakian politics episode where like uh, yeah. Ro- Robert Fico, the now current prime minister of Slovakia, like has just constantly slept with his secretary. Where like secretary just seems to be like the formal title he gives his mistress. Yeah. Oh uh, no, mistress this is not, horrible. You know, you're like, just in the sense of yeah, in the sense of like stereotyping these. Yeah. I feel yeah. that yeah. no, I'm sorry. Having an assistant means that you're you're bossing it up. Dare yeah. I say, girl bossing? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, no, Robert Fizzo is the girl man, boss of Slovakia. Girl boss. Uh, yeah, if you're, you're also, you, you know, you're also offering jobs. Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> 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 yeah, an exchange of sex. Um, uh, I think well, that's not always the case. That <laughs> <laughs> guy is. Yes. Okay. I mean, okay. I mean, no. <laughs> 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 Do you see him? Not with Kieran. Um, All right, Kieran. let's. He's a race car driving let's, royal. Why let's, sh- let's, why, why <laughs> sh- royal? <laughs> like royal. everybody. In There's a big Europe. air quotes on royal here. Absolutely. All right, let's go further yes. with this uh, Roland right. kind of All right. looking dude. So next, next we have the only Reichsburger that we haven't actually talked about on the show before, which I'm referring to as the gated community oh, no. king. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, do you know that meme of, is like, this the, the <laughs> Is this P- Peter Fitzek? This is Peter Fitzek. I have never seen pictures of him. Do you know him. that meme? <laughs> that, it's Look like at the, him. the chicken with the... Do you know? <laughs> There's, like, a picture of a chicken with, like, a ponytail. <laughs> it just looks like that. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so this is Peter Fitzek. This is the König of Deutschland. <gasps> yeah, yeah. This is the. Excuse me. What? Oh, you're you're seeing the coronation oh, picture. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. That looks like f- <laughs> fucking Hamilton, like George, whatever the fifth. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> this is my off Broadway. Yeah, yeah, I love his obvious. His fucking off Broadway <laughs> looking guys. He looks like that. Oh, he does look like the chicken. Okay. All right. <laughs> We Sorry. we cannot add that. I can be mean to him. He's a Reichsburger. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah. So, so his real name is Peter Fitzek. He likes to be called Peter the First, though. So <laughs> jot that down. It's always good when you're the first because you totally come from royalty. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. You totally have a claim. Yeah. <laughs> this guy in the U.S. would have been just a uh, like uh, a pastor at a, at a mega <laughs> church. Even at a like tele tele yeah, yeah, tele pastor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he's the, yeah. so. He's the guy who responsible for the angle money. Oh, and his, a uh, must so he's a rich him. one. He's a rich one he's, in the community. And he's doing pretty well. All right. So his backstory is he trained as a chef, ran a video store, and was a karate instructor, which is oh, fair. which is a really short, ha- which is a really long way of saying he has a ponytail, <laughs> um, because that is the haircut that I would give all three of those professions. <laughs> um, he ran for mayor of a ta- uh, of the town near Wittenberg. Uh, he got 0.7% of the vote. Uh, then he ran for Bundestag as a direct candidate, also got 0.7% of so the vote. So his family. Uh-huh. <laughs> his mom. <laughs> Look, say what you will. 0.7, has, that's something. He's got a loyal base who will turn out <laughs> yeah. for every election. For both of them. If you get the same result for both of the elections. That is insane, yeah. yeah. Um, you can build on that. <laughs> speaking of which, he's banned from the Wittenberg Town Hall for trying to arrest an employee um, and hurting their arm in the process. Oh, man. Yeah. Is he also... Wh- is he yeah. Bryce Miller why? Police as yeah, well? Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, why? He, like, he did a, like, a Reich citizen's arrest or whatever, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess if you're the king... Yeah, you, <laughs> you can you can just do that. The king is allowed re- arrest people. I'm not from a monarchy, but I believe that. <laughs> but at least he's a king. He's actually showing up. He's doing shit. Yeah. <laughs> he's you say doing what, king shit. Unlike other kings. Say what, you will, say what you will about Peter I. He does... He does king shit. He does king shit. Um, He's also bought property in uh, Saxon and in a small town in Brandenburg. Uh, In the small town in Brandenburg, locals are afraid because he's already stated he's going to move in like 180 Reichsburgers. And the town is not that big. And they're like, that's going to be like a sizable demographic they have difference. Like 200 people or something. And the problem is they already have the Anastasia movement there. If anyone knows who the, what that is, that is uh, a very like blood and soil kind of movement that uh, originated in Russia that moved its way through like the Baltics now also arrived in Germany in the like eastern yep. um, states of Germany and basically has this kind of like esoteric blood and soil ideology based on books 
Back oh. on very anti-Semitic. <laughs> Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, no. They're fantasy novels. They're yeah. basically they're fantasy, fantasy novels. novels that have a lot of folkish ideas in oh, it. Oh, right, right. And a lot of anti-Semitism. Because yeah. I was about yeah, to say like, that like, the Third talk. Reich was also based on a book. <laughs> to be fair. Um, <laughs> I mean, fair yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, the it's proper- fantasy book. So the thing is, the property he bought yeah. is Anastasia Movement property. And I wanted to write my master thesis about the Anastasia Movement. Oh, hell yeah. Well. Okay. Um, <laughs> and uh, that is why they're especially like scared about him moving in because they're scared they're going to have like this whole like thing of Reichsburg Anastasia collab kind of Oh, right. <laughs> the, the link Where up. they're actually taking over the whole village, village and yeah. turn Fun. it into a Völkische Gemeinschaft or something. Jesus I know. Christ. <laughs> anyway. So he's basically <laughs> successfully set up a micronation in Wittenberg or like near Wittenberg in Saxony Anhalt. Uh, that's the flag, which is like the German flag, ups- basically upside down. Am I right? Is that yeah, that's upside yeah, down. Yeah. Yeah, upside down. With, of like course, a sun? it's upside down because Germany is sad. Oh, it's sad. <laughs> but there's a rising sun, and that sun is called Peter Fitzek. Um, <laughs> oh, I swear, you see, you see the the basic the analogies uh, like. Um, to the the uh, Anastasia uh, movement because they they both are kind of like esoteric weird yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. and basically they're just German <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day <laughs> okay so then we have uh, he claims to have about five thousand citizens in his micronation I'm not sure how we can verify that but that's what he claims um, he's been arrested numerous times. Uh, for classic Reichsburger crime of driving without a license. Ah, um, he, he has a license. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he just wasn't there to police himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're under arrest, Peter. No, I'm not. Oh, I guess you're not. Um, I, I think as the king, he has uh, diplomatic immunity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, Don't you know who I am? <laughs> I'm the king. Running numerous insurance companies, not just one. God, he's so German. <laughs> <laughs> he's rich as fuck. Though. He's a grifter. Uh, he's, for, yeah. he's also been running those for several years. Uh, um, he also ran a bank without a license, uh, and embezzling his followers' money is also another thing he's gone to co- oh. court for. Yeah, the angles thing. The angles. <laughs> they thing, just absolutely. send him money. Yeah. They just uh, hate. Yeah. They just hate when you have a, a good idea, which is you know. A complete different currency. Fraud. <laughs> <laughs> so, like in comparison to our terrorist Heinrich, yeah, he is more kind of like the vibe of like really like a grifter, like an esoteric kind of. Yeah. Uh, when the raid, I bet he yeah. doesn't even believe Do you see in that this ponytail. Shit? Of course, he is. Yeah. He, he, he probably nice. doesn't even believe in this. Like he's just there for the money. He's just so, getting his bread. Yeah. So you have the very possible kind of this scary terrorist monarchist, and then you have these. <laughs> <laughs> <not> yeah, <racist. laughs> when that raid <laughs> happened against yeah. like the racing Heinrich and all that, he like denounced it and stuff, and yeah. like said that we're going to achieve this in another he, way. Which he, is though he he had a sergeant at arms that was actually a former um, uh, lieutenant, like an Oberleutnant in in the army. So of course. yeah, that dude really was prepared. <laughs> His also, help. Also, he had uh, actually an AfD um, member, a former member of parliament, showing him and his dudes, <laughs> I don't know, like <laughs> 16 other dudes around yeah. uh, Bundestag and showing them the schedule of the next plenary sessions and showing them where the uh, government uh, bench is and where they're sitting. So they mm. actually had something. There's something going. Yeah. And this was a uh, former like AfD politician that was doing the little tours. Like, of course. In Reichstag. Um, <laughs> yeah, pretends to be shocked. Bundestag, yeah. sorry. Um, his health insurance company, which is called NDGK or Neues Deutschland Gesundheitskasse, um, was just a fund that prohibited members from seeking health care that wasn't homeopathic. See? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, he wants to start a TV channel. And, um, and I think. Going without saying, he is divorced. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that that he does have divorce energy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? that's when you. The, He's when, like the German Elon Musk. When your bitch ass wife leaves, you're gonna grow a ponytail. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, we get into some new Reichsberg's development, which is personally my favorite thing: the Malta scam. Oh, yeah. Oh, the Malta <laughs> scam. The Malta scam. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Malta scam works as following. Say you're like a Chad fucking Reichsburger. You're driving around the Germany without any, which a country that doesn't exist, by the way, without a <laughs> license. Uh, but then, because of this, and you also don't pay tax. This is a huge thing. Germany's not real. You're not paying tax to it. So, you will get 
a fine from some sort of Beamta, right? And you're down here being cool, being a, a, um, a Reichsburger. You'd have probably have a different flag, <laughs> uh, to be honest. But being a startup. Yeah. <laughs> this is a startup. This is a startup person in Berlin. Uh, yeah, they give us German flags when we arrive. Yeah, this is <laughs> actually the the. Um, uh, what is like the timeshare thing of that? Thank you guys for for sitting. For so long. <laughs> now we're gonna teach you how to make money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So what the Reichsburger does is they then set up a post box company in the United States, which I've illustrated here with the post box in Delaware, prime state to do that. Yeah, but they do it in Washington. Yeah. They do it in Washington. Yeah, okay. You can do it online. Oh, you I need, see. You need no verification. Oh Good God. job, Was- Washington State. I'm assuming. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So. <laughs> They then use that to contact a debt collection service that exists because, in Malta. Yeah, because with that company, they first register actually with a debt registry mm. in the United States yeah. and then make debt claims and then refer that to an incasso, so debt collection uh, company in Malta. In Malta, which yeah. is this, here, this picture of Valletta looks beautiful. beautiful. This, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> and then Don't they... You wish that you could launder money through this beautiful place. <laughs> 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 Never visit. <laughs> But your money will. And um, and then that debt collection agency in Malta then sends a letter to the Biamta saying like, <laughs> aha, reverse Umu card, you're actually being fined. <laughs> this has never worked. <laughs> yeah. they demand, like, what do they try to find them for? They, oh, millions. That's <laughs> the thing. Million that is euros. the problem, I think. Oh. I'm making profit on this fine then, that I'm getting yeah, from. Especially they're finding German uh, like uh, Beamte. Um, yeah. so, like, Civil service. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank the you. funniest <laughs> thing was like looking at the article from like the Bundeskriminalamt and it gives you this whole breakdown of it yeah. and it explains how it works this and that and that and at the very bottom it says there has not been one case of this working <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why <laughs> <laughs> this plan is dumb as fuck um, alright so how's everyone enjoying their stay at the resort like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, like I swear you guys are going to make money this way though like, <laughs> trust us so the other thing that they've started doing now and has Ooh. become kind of alarming yes. is they've started founding their oh, own no. yeah. Jewish communities. Oh, Jewish for organizations. Yeah. yeah. So this was originally ro- reported by Panorama. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So several Reichsburgers have founded Jewish organizations. All of them, uh, all of those founders are Christian, of course, and are all seeking government money to be like, mm-hmm. hey, you were kind of shit to us in the past. Can you be nice to us now? Uh, is generally the vibe. And then they have then resulted in this guy over here. Sel- Ivan Gutz. <laughs> Ivan Gutz, yeah. self-proclaimed chief rabbi of the Reichsberger movement. He is 75 years old. Yeah. Um, he founded several of these. Um, claims to be the representative of true Judaism, uh, which he claims, with no backing, uh, true Judaism financed Hitler and supported National Socialism. So... This is all very fucked. He is very uh, well known for being very anti-Semitic in oh, yeah. years before, um, yeah. especially like claiming that there is like a Zionist like a supergroup that is basically um, ruling everything, and he is someone who's true the, the uh, into true Judaism. Yeah, yeah, and being the only rabbi that is actually yeah. yeah. Several actual Jewish organizations in this country have filed a lot of complaints. And um, we are running into the legal limits of the actual law because apparently calling yourself a Jewish organization is not illegal, even yeah. if like none of you are Jewish. Everyone or can Wait, register. What? Yeah, yeah well, every, if you register yourself as a Verein, so yeah. an eingetragener Verein, so basically yeah. as a... Like, Which this is. There's a big old EV like there. A, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like a Sportsverein or whatever. Um, they won't check. They won't check if you're actually... A, I read Jewish that, like, community or anything like that. I read so, that in many yeah. of these Vereine, he's literally the only member. Yeah. Well, probably. Yeah, for several of <laughs> them. Yeah. This guy is I mean, I think friends. it's pretty, yeah, again, pretty hard to find other Jews who are going to agree with your message. Of well, oh, no, obviously. Well, he's yeah, not Jewish yeah, I mean, himself, like, so that's... Yeah. Like, <laughs> sure, point. maybe you can't yeah. check if people are actually Jewish, no, 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 whatever. That's also, like, against the but law, like, too. You can't this, ask for, like, It's basically also to... No, no, I know, I know. But, like, if there's only one dude... Yeah, no. Like, again. in the fine. Well, Would you not be like... Mm. This isn't a club. No, yeah. I feel like three people is a club. <laughs> like, not <laughs> one person. Not one. Three people, three people is a like, crowd. So three people is a crowd. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> three is too much, but like one. I'm just imagining that he's like the one white German dude who like watched that weird like Hotep documentary. 
Mm, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> probably. <laughs> She's like, yeah, this is all right. <laughs> so then we get into the weird historical consequence of the Reichsberger movement. The the whole classic, you don't have, like, you gotta hand it to them, you don't have to hand it to them. But, all right, I'm going to explain with this lovely slide here. So, oh jeez! I know it looks scary, doesn't it? But, but it's, don't worry. Yeah, it's Almost men. like that's a lot of a white men. old man. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's just the first government of post-war Germany. <laughs> that is that is scary. Oh, um, Jesus, does that fuck. mean we have to stop? <laughs> we have to stop now. Probably. They're evacuating. No, no. Yeah, 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 fair enough. We're we're wrapping up. We're wrapping up. Um, so, what I'm going to say is, in 1953. There was a legitimate uh, monarchist movement called Tradition und Leben, and everyone. Tradition, Tradition und Leben. Not Leben. Leben. Leben would be love. <laughs> love. So what the fuck did I say? Leben. So, Tradition Leben. and life. Tradition and life. Yeah. Leben. Okay, I said Leben. Okay, I, I hear it now. All right. So okay. <laughs> we're pointing out that this was like trying to make monarchism in Germany respectable, and everyone in the Adenauer in Adenauer's first cabinet. Bar Adenauer himself attended that conference. <laughs> there was legitimately a push at the beginning of West Germany to turn it into a monarchy again. But thanks to the Reichsburgers being so goddamn goofy that it's just like stopped it from being like it has destroyed respectable monarchism in this country. Oh no. I know exactly. <laughs> why would you even have monarchism in this country? Well, though? I mean, why wouldn't you? First look at off. this look at well, this cool yeah. crown. Uh, uh, say we could give this crown to Adenauer. Wouldn't that I mean, be cool? <laughs> I mean, no. A lot of this stuff comes yeah, because into you the... guys come from kingless lands, no, but I don't. There were like there was Germany had a This monarch. is not a kingless land. Germany like, Germany had a oh. million kings. Yeah. It was kind of the problem. Now, I mean yeah. now. No, but uh the thing that I think is always interesting within this like uh, uh, trend that existed into conservatism in Germany is that this exists like well into the 90s. Oh yeah, this whole thing where uh, I was about to point at Adna, but he was long gone at that point. Yeah, uh, we're like Helmut Kohl like had to possibly step down at one point because when reunification happened, a lot of his party was like, oh yeah, no, the CDU still views the borders of Germany as like. Oh, the 1919, the 1919 yeah, borders. borders, yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, reunification <laughs> means Germany, Germany. Except, yeah, yeah. There, was like, there was like CDU pamphlets in the 80s that like yeah. said yeah. reunification means reunification. Yeah. It would have like half of Poland included. Oh, so yeah. Bring so back like, the Kaiser. Yeah, so it's, like, it's always kind of one of those things that, that it's like, at least I like to always, you know, kind of remember with a lot of the right wing movements in Germany is that then they're not like, the really weird ones aren't actually so far into this like, past of being a mainstream conservative project or ideology like monarchism in germany has more or less died out in the mainstream like cdu voter this yeah. and that, and that. Yeah. but like that's a recent phenomenon yeah. and also like the sense too that then germany's just really good at like pretending that its last 20 years have been the last you know 80 you know, like we like to imagine that Germany has had this, like, oh, like Erinnerungskultur, and that it's had this, and it's had, like, you know, our conservative governments are, like, you know, not that insane, and this and that and that, and da 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 da. Yeah. That's all new. Like, that's all, like, really within the last, well, I mean, really. First like, of all, there was nothing done in, in the sense of. of Real alphabeting, looking into like Nazi past yeah. and shit. Like oh yeah, thanks for that. Guys. Until, <laughs> until, yeah, until the seventies, where yeah, 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 yeah. they actually just started to look yeah. into the books. And Conrad Adenauer <laughs> stopped it in nineteen forty nine. Like four years. That seems yeah. like enough. That's we like, did oh, it. Let Dust hands. First, we build it, and then later, maybe yeah. look, look who is actually ruling Germany. Still, uh, the, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not uh, it's not the craziest thing to to assume that. I mean, not even to assume, but uh, a lot of people in Adenauer's uh, a cabinet don't 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 dig deep. Like yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. the uh, the monarchism is the least of our problems. <laughs> and since we've been given the light, that is our that is our succinct everything you need to know about the Reichsburgers. <laughs> don't look into anything any of them have said about like. The Everything. Rothschilds, <laughs> or... Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you can find us here if you don't know us, operationglad.io. Uh, uh, you can go to operationglad.io forward slash start if you don't know where to start. 
And we are on Twitter. We're on Instagram. We have a Patreon. You can give us money. We're a Verein. Don't look into it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we get a driver's license. <laughs> yeah, we, we issue our own driver's license. <laughs> our own birth certs. Your own insurance. Yeah, yeah. We're all on. <laughs> we're all on Kieran Gesundheit's castle. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I just that look at things. Us tea mostly. <laughs> I just give you tea. I look at it and says, "Ah, yeah, it seems grand. It's fine. Walk it off, sure champ. Like, sure, like you're grand. I'm printing a currency at my house. <laughs> <laughs> you want some? Mail me your money, and I'll give you my money. Mail me your fake money. I'll give you the real money. <laughs> <laughs> the real money the Germans don't want yeah. you to know about. Yeah, on the spatey bucks that are only you can't use them at your spatey. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> They're only used at uh, you know certified corner spatey dealers. <laughs> Which is our Patreon shop that doesn't <laughs> exist. Yeah, it's only the Patreon. All right, and with that, we will catch you next time. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you Bye. so much.